Hey everybody, you know what it is. It's a box opening. This is Heritage High Number Baseball Tops 2019. We're doing a box battle um, between Mike and Dave. Mike is getting the box on the right. Dave is getting the box on the left. We're going to go through each box. We're going to see who has the best hits. That person gets the uh, box in the middle as theirs to keep. So some people do it where the best person's cards get all of them. I don't think that's fair. Dave will still walk away with whatever comes in this box. Mike, if he's the winner, will get the contents of two boxes. So that's pretty cool. Um, just trying it out. I saw Phil's Pulls do something similar to this the other day. I don't know if it's everybody's doing it, but I like to have fun and try out new ideas. So figured this would be better than just me paying for all the boxes myself, going through them, and, you know, that's the end of the day. So we figured let's make it more exciting. So I'm going to start with the box on the right. I'm going to put the center box in the rear. I already cut the side so it's easy for me to open because you never want to fumble with these. And uh, this is 2019 Heritage High Number. Let's see what we pull. I love how they go on the top of the box, though. It's just kind of funny to me. I think it's stupid. And they go, um, what is it? Seven packs plus one extra pack. Instead of just saying, hey, you get eight packs. Hilarious. All right. Let's put these aside. We'll go one by one. I'm going to change the camera to focus in on the cards. And as we all know, tops very, very easy to open. Let's see. Hold on. One second. Very easy to open. And we start off with John Means, Kyle Gibson, Jonathan Lucroy, J.A. Happ, Dear Alan Hansen. Just kidding. Um, Cal Quantrill. It's Dear Evan Hansen, by the way. Um, Brandon Woodruff making a uh, Broadway joke there, musical. Aaron Sanchez and Jerkson. Pro far, so good. Nothing outstanding yet. What I will do for now until I sort them all is maybe put the best card atop the stack as I go. Josh Fuentes, Brian Dozier, Francisco Liriano, Justice Sheffield, Mike Trout. So, so far, oh, and it's a Mike Trout cloth card. So that should be numbered 26, oh, 26 to 30 photos that are cloth card, but the texture on it is different. So, so far, a Mike Trout cloth card for Mike. How appropriate. Kyle Zimmer, Sonny Gray, Dietrich, Austin Meadows. That's a good card, but it's not going to win anybody anything. Looking for, you know, hey, just anything, whatever the best card that stands out. It's as simple as that. We don't have any hard, fast rules yet. Trying it out for the first time. Sky Bolt. That's a cool name. I don't know him. Jorge Alfaro, Azdrubal Cabrera, Daniel Murphy, Ichiro. Wow. Okay. So Ichiro is like a, that's, is that some kind of special insert card? I'm going to put that aside just in case. Um, I think his last game was what? Um, in Japan? Oh, look at this. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's definitely going in a good pile. Heck yeah. David Robertson. Vlad Jr. Oh, man. Rookie card. Second rookie card. Fernando Tatis. And then we got a Vlad Jr. Well, it's a little interesting to bend on it. But wow. So we got Fernando Tatis Jr. Vlad Jr. Ichiro and a Mike Trout cloth. In the background. Yeah. It's a pretty good pile. Pretty good pile so far. Well, let's keep this going. Gotta be careful. I don't want to bend any of these cards. None of the corners. The corners got to be crisp, folks. We want these to, if they're, you know, centered and everything, we want these to grade high. Matt Moore, Wade Miley, 
Steve Pierce not doing anything for me. Freddie Galvis looks like Freddie Galvis looking a lot like Bo Bichette. Is that a misprint? No, he looks a lot like Bo Bichette. Matt Harvey, who's trying to come back into the league. No one wants to take a chance. Last he pitched, I think, it was five six ERA. He was never the same after he pitched those extended innings that led the uh, Mets to the World Series when he was younger. We got Leary Garcia, Daniel Descalo, Anthony Descafini, Jeff Samarja, Ichiro Yusei Kukushi. The succession? I don't think so. One's a pitcher, one's a out, uh, prolific outfielder. Kelly Fries Navarez. So far, we got four strong cards here, but still got three packs to go. Let's see what we got. And I'm not going to go through, you know, looking for short prints and variations. And I don't really know what they are at this point. Griffin Kenning. Uh, that would take more investigation looking at the numbers on the back. Now and then, boom, boom, boom. Carter Kai, boom. K, boom. Brendan Rodgers. I'm not too high on him. People are, but not me. Oh, Austin Riley. That's a good one, too. Man, if this guy has Eloy, Mike is going to win hands down handsomely. Let's see. Let's put these so everybody can, can see. Look at this talent. I mean, Ichiro is only if that's not his last card. It could be his last card. I I don't know if it was a special issue. I didn't take that close of a look yet, but we'll see if we even need to take a look like that. Jake Bowers, Ian Kennedy, Adovino, Tehran Guerrero, Richard Lovelady. Interesting name. Nathan Eovaldi, Kurt Casali, Ian Kinsler. So we're down to our last, last pack. But so far we have some nice cards here. Especially the Tatis and the Vlad Jr. Austin Riley would be a name that you guys will hear. Uh, you would have hear, heard more of if we had a season going right now. But once the season kicks in, you'll know him. I think by, by season's end, he'll be a name that is in your 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 memory banks there. Nick Marcakis, Yusei Kikuchi, Rookie Performers. Put him on top of the Ichiro. Joe Kelly... Johan Kang and uh, Manny Machado. I mean, I guess I could throw him in the mix, but he's not really of val that much value here. So we got a large stack of commons I'm going to put in the back. But otherwise, we have Mike Trout Cloth Card, Austin Riley, Carter K. Boom. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr., Yusei Kikuchi Ichiro, Suzuki, and Manny Machado. Uh, I'm just going to clean that up into a stack that I will top with Fernando Tatis Jr. and Vlad Guerrero. So that is the pile to beat. We got Dave over here with box number two. Let's see how you do. All right. We got 72 cards per box. I got these box on walmart.com. $19. You can find them for a little less or a little more wherever you go. But that seemed to be a good price with the free shipping once you spend 35 big ones. And that was easy to do. Once you get three boxes. So here we go. Ryan Brassier. Nate Lau. Michael Chavis. I like him. Clay Buckholtz. Jake DeGrom. You never know if that might be the best you get. So I'm just going to put that down for now. Austin Barnes.
Max Maroff, I don't know you. John Duplantier, Brett Gardner, Matt Davidson, Cameron Maben, Travis Berger, Craig Holland, Nick Anderson, Lance Lynn. Nothing there. Not that they're bad players or anything. Just nothing that when you're going to look it up online or on eBay is going to hold much value. So for box number one, hard to beat. But we are early in the game. Jack Cave, who looks like he's missing an arm or a hand or something. That's an interesting photo there. Marwin Gonzalez, super utility man. Martin Maldano. Bryce Harper. You know, he's an all-star, but again, don't know how old. Okay, we got a Vladdy Jr. now and then. We got a Domingo Herman, Brian McCann. Billy McKinney. And a Pete Alonzo. All right, so Pete Alonzo rookie card. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're now we're talking. We can have a conversation at least. So we got Fernando Tatis versus uh, Pete Alonzo. If it was one to one, I think Tatis might edge out. Although my personal bias would go towards Alonzo. G Man Choi, Eloy Jimenez. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think we're gonna have a debate here. Eric Lauer, Troy Tulowitzki, Alan Hansen. Now, if this pack, I mean, gets a refractor or whatever, limited edition, whatever you call it. Well, it's a nice looking card, Mr. Drew Jackson. Uh, or an autograph. I mean, that's going to be the deal breaker here. But so far, so good. Jeez. Eloy. I mean, if we get an Eloy variation, it's over. Helixson, Corbin, Delino De Shields, Richie Martin, don't know him. Carter K Boom, uh oh, rookie performers. We got a K Boom on each side. Jacoby Jones, Josh Flegley, Kelvin Herrera, Zach Davies. Man, this is. Uh, hey, yay, hey, hey. Who's it going to be, Dave or Mike? What do you guys think so far? Logan Forsyth, Josh Harrison, Homer Bailey, Danny Salazar. We got Lorenzo Kane and Christian Yelich. I don't think that's enough to put down. Clayton Richard, Sarantini, Shelby Miller, Corbin Martin. I mean, Yelich is a good card on its own, but there's nothing special about a now and then or whatever that card was so far. I mean, if we need to as a deal breaker, we'll see. But let's get there first. Tyler Ross, Kendry Morales, Kevin Plawecki, Alex Reyes, another Bryce Harper. Is that the exact same one? I don't know. We'll check. Ramiel Tapia, Tyler Naquin, Phil Irvin, Curtis Granderson. Wow. I thought he was with the Dodgers last. Find out he's with the Marlins. Interesting. Last pack. Could it be the deciding pack? Or has it already been decided? Pedro Avila, Merrill Kelly, Ronald Nunez, Connor Joe. Okay, another Ichiro, so not oh, Nick Senzel. Uh oh. Or Senzel. Goodwin. Sucre. Tyler O'Neill. So I'm gonna have to break down each one now. So just to round that out, we got the Ichiro, which I'm now taking out. It doesn't count. We got a Nick, Nick Senzel, Bryce Harper, Carter K. Boom, Eloy Jimenez, Pete Alonzo, uh, now and then Vlad Guerrero, Bryce Harper. Okay, so two of the same. So that's just one and the Jacob deGrom. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven. Really, really, really good cards. Uh, these are doubles, and I'm not counting each row. So over here we had, I'm not counting the cloth right now. So Fernando Tatis Jr., Vlad Guerrero, legit rookie card, Jr., Carter K. Boom, legit rookie card, Austin Riley, regular Machado, Yusei Kikuchi. The each row no longer counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the cloth. See, this is special. The Cloth Mike Trout. So, Cloth Mike Trout. Fernando Tatis. 
Vladdy Jr., top three. Let's go with the top four cards of each. Uh, I would go K-Boom in this instance. So let's stack them four, top four. Going to have to go with the top four of each. Not mix the piles up. That's the first pile I made in the second pile. So what would be the top four of these? Now that's the, that's, this is going to be the, I think Nick Senzo. Uh, I don't think Carter Cabo. I think definitely Eloy. I think definitely Pete Alonzo. Um, Harper, Jacob DeGrom, K-Boom, now and then. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, I got two now and thens. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the rookie performer. So now it comes down to the top top three of each. Because these Carter K booms happen to be happen to be the kicker. Kicker's the same. So now we must decide. Is Pete Alonzo, Eloy Jimenez, and Nick Senzel? More valuable than Mike Trout, Fernando, Tatis, and Vladdy Jr. I'm going to, I honestly think that if you added them up, I think Mike would win. Based on his top three. Even though Dave had a strong top three and had more um solid cards throughout however it's based on the top three so i wonder what you guys at home think but i'm giving this one to mike dave still gets to keep his cards so he doesn't lose but what he does not get are the contents of what's behind door number three box number three which is going to mike who already has mike trout Fernando Tatis Jr. and Vlad Guerrero Jr., which I think, I mean, it, it was a close call, tough argument can be made, but I do believe I'm making the right choice here. And hey, I get nothing out of it, but I think I am being a fair judge. But I'll let you out there be the jury, and you let me know. You let me know. So what is Mike going home with? Clay Buckholtz, Mike, Max Maroff, John Duplantier. Holy moly. What? Congratulations. Look at this. A Lorenzo Kane 66 of 99. Look at that, you know, mirror. You know, oh, wow. Huh. Congratulations. You got a clubhouse collection. Relic card, and it and it's not a bad player. Look at that, look at that, that is insane. Austin Riley, Tim Beckham, Austin Riley, Tim Beckham, Love Lady Nathan Eovaldi. Wow, 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 wow. I think that's pretty cool. You never know what you're gonna get. Who knew that you would get a relic? I mean, what if this also has an autograph or something in it? What if it's one of those uh, hot boxes I always hear about but never get? Wow. Brett Gardner, Matt Davidson, Jake Cave, Marwin Gonzalez, Chris Paddock, Kurt Casali, Ian Kinsler, Yandy Diaz, Joe Kelly. Look at that. A numbered relic out of Heritage High Number. Are you guys pulling relics and autographs out of uh, 2020 Heritage? I bought a lot of that. I haven't gotten any. I got an autograph, but the card was butchered because of the, the black uh, card stock. Harper, Eloy, my boy Jimenez is on Mike's side now. Now he has one. Manny Machado, Dwight Smith Jr., Zach Britton. Okay, uh, trying to wrap this up. We're heading to we're hitting the 20 minute mark. I want to keep this under 30 minutes. 
opening three boxes, so 10 minutes a box average. Okay, Eric Lanier, Troy Tulowitzki, Hellickson, Patrick Corbin, another Eloy Jimenez. Well, look at this guy. Ryan McMahon, Alex Jackson, Brett Anderson, Eduardo Escobar. That's three Eloys in three boxes, one box having two Eloys. Pretty sweet. It's one of my favorite young young players. Along with Jordan Alvarez. Delano DeShields, Richie Martin, Logan Forsyth, Josh Harrison, Dominic Leone, Marcinic, Giardo Parra, Greg Holland, Yasmani Grandal, who has been traded. Where was he traded to? He was on the Dodgers, then Milwaukee. I think he's on, I want to say he's on the Reds. If so, that's great. He's one of the best framers as far as catcher ratings go. Homer Bailey, Danny Salazar, Tyson Ross, Kendris Morales, Mookie Betts now with the Dodgers, Nick Margevisis, Margevisis, Yusei Kikuchi, rookie card, Adam Frege, and Max Fried. Last two packs, we already got a relic, we got some nice rookie cards. Let's see what we end up with. Kevin Ploiecki, Alex Reyes, Pedro Avila, Mero Kelly, Cody Bellinger, Max Muncy, Ryan Presley, Wilmer Flores, Terrence Gore, and Austin Barnes. Last pack. Last pack. This has been a box battle break. Pandemic pack openings. <laughs> Renato Nunez, Connor Joe, Lonnie Chisenhall, Neil Walker, now and then looks like uh, Christian Yelich, Travis Berger, Greg Holland, Nick Anderson, and Lance Lynn. Thank you all for tuning in. Here's some of the lot. A lot of them, you know, went back in there. I didn't separate because we're not in battle mode. This was uh, the winner, winner, chicken dinner for the winner of the initial battle the, from the third box, which goes to the winner of each battle that has the best of the bunch. Dave, don't worry. You get a Pete Alonzo, your Eloy Jimenez, your Nick Senzel, and all the other commons. And uh, Mike, you get all your commons plus all your hits. Thank you for playing. Until next time. Enjoy opening your packs at home, stay safe, sane, and sanitary.